So before I get into the video, if you're interested, I live stream Apex Legends on my second YouTube channel and I also live stream single player games on my Twitch channel. So if you're interested, sub up down below. So Nintendo says that the Switch is in the middle of its lifespan. Let's talk about that. <laughs> So according to a website called GameInformer.com, you guys are pretty much familiar with this website, but I'm going to get into what they're saying. So during an investor discussion in Japan, Nintendo president, I, I suck with Japanese names, so I'm not even going to try and pronounce them, said that the Switch will remain the company's focus for years to come. Even with new competition in the market, this news comes from question and answer section that was translated by Video Games Chronicle. We believe that Nintendo Switch business is now in its fourth year and is just in the middle of its life cycle. Rather than just the next year, I think about things in terms of what we can do the following year and the year after that. He also added, we do not believe that the business, will, the business trends of other companies will have a significant impact on our business. He's referring to Sony, you know, the Sony PlayStation 5, Microsoft's Xbox Series X, Google, Google Stadia, all those, competitor, all, all those competitors. So to me, that sounds impressive. Like, it sounds like we're not going to get like a Switch Pro anytime soon at all it sounds like the switch has like a next three years two and a half years left before anything's gonna happen i'll be surprised if it goes on like three years and we don't get like a switch pro or maybe they have it in the works maybe a year from now but it really sounds like nintendo is very very confident with their console because it's selling like hotcakes man that, that console is just flying off the, the shelves and people are buying it i get it man you know it's a it's a hybrid of a handheld and a, and a gaming and a the home console it's it's such a great console i love it a lot of people just buying it up and seeing this seeing this move from nintendo is not too surprising because nintendo we come on man like in 2007 2006 like times when like hd was like the the big thing nintendo was still rocket sd and that was just crazy to me i found it ridiculous when i played a wii i remember the first time i played a wii I was shocked that it was SD. I'm like, why does it look that way? Why does it look so crappy? But people are still behind the Wii, even though it was an SD console. And even though you had HD going strong and people had the PlayStation, the PlayStation 3, the Xbox 360. And yeah, you, you never had like 1080p for all the games, but you know, 720p or above. But it was just strange to have a Wii with that low res, but people still bought into it. The Wii U never did that well. But Nintendo was always about, you know, games, always about the gameplay, always about the software and what their first party company can create for their console, the best they can do. It's all about gameplay, like I said. So that they, they were never on the same level as Microsoft and Sony trying to compete with them, trying to have this power struggle. We have better graphics, we have better gameplay, all these things. But they focus on fun. They have they they're in like their own lane. And that's always the best way to do it. It doesn't always work that way. In some circumstances, but a big company like Nintendo, they can afford to do that. And they took a gamble with the Wii U. It didn't work out. And they saw potential. They saw potential with the Wii U, especially with the tablet. And taking that idea and making it into a handheld along with a hybrid console, you know, home to handheld. It's a brilliant idea. Because I'm telling you, man, I don't even care that I can't run, like, certain games on the Switch. I'm just happy that I can. For me, the, the Switch is almost like a nostalgic machine for me. You know, I can play so many games I loved as a kid. I played Final Fantasy X, X2. I played Resident Evil 5. I played a lot of games from, like, way back when, but really holds a, holds a big part in my heart. So the Switch just has so, such a diverse library, and the games are just going to keep coming to it. And what's blowing me away, there was even a game, what's the name of the game? It was an RPG game. It was, I think it was created by the guys who made Fallout. I think it's Outer Worlds. Yeah, Outer Worlds. And it, I'm blown away that that game is coming to the Switch. So companies are investing and in, are pretty much putting their time and effort into creating games for the Switch. So s Nintendo is there like, we don't need to rush and make a next console. You know, eventually they have to, but there there's no rush. They, they, they're going to keep porting games over to the Switch and people are going to keep buying it, man. Like, it's, it's such a money printer. Everybody's picking up a Switch. People who I know who aren't even gamers want a Switch because they just like it. It's just fun. So I'm not too surprised by this information, man. I, I am surprised in the sense that it has it's like a half year. Like pretty much you have the next two and a half to three years out of the switch. But still at the same time, I'm kinda not surprised. I, I'm really I'm you know, it's cool that Nintendo's sticking to their guts. That they they believe in their console. They know they don't need to be a powerhouse console like the Xbox One X or the PS5. 
But eventually, man, eventually they're going to have to do an upgrade. Obviously, Nintendo isn't going to do like a massive upgrade, but they're going to have to do it eventually because the games are going to get a lot more technical. It's not even just about graphics and, you know, CPU. It's like, it's a, there's a lot more going, what goes into games. You know, where are those YouTubers talking about? There's, there's a lot more technicalities with gaming, man, when it comes down to AI and, you know, coding and all that. You're not going to be able to shrink down every single game and put it on the Switch. Eventually, Nintendo's going to know that. But I feel like Nintendo's the company that always does, they, they ride it out. They pretty much beat that horse until it's completely dead. You know, the, until they have to just move on to the next horse. They're not going to, like, wait until, oh, you know, it's, you know, it's 70% almost finished. So, let me hop over and just, you know, go to the next one. They'll wait until, like, like 10 five then it's completely drained and there's nothing else and they move on to the next project so i'm surprised at the same time i'm not surprised but it sounds cool man so right now i don't feel so betrayed because i bought a switch kind of late you know i always wanted to switch but you know life you know stuff you got to do you can't really invest your money into small stuff and treat yourself but eventually i did treat myself and i got myself a switch and i was happy about it but i was happy about it so i'm happy that i don't have to worry about a switch pro coming out eventually because i don't have the money right now to buy a switch pro but to be honest I probably would find the money anyway because I love the Switch. But yeah, that's my thoughts. That's pretty much my thoughts. So let me know your thoughts down below of Nintendo's move. Do you really believe that the Nintendo Switch is in its half of its life cycle? Do you believe that? Or they're just saying that just to kind of keep the keep the fan base, you know, happy that they won't get betrayed or stand in the back. There's a there's like a Switch Pro right around the corner. Because right now it's this is kind of the the life cycle of a new console. So the next Switch comes out next year or two years from now. It's a next generation Switch. It's pretty much a next generation console. It's not even a Switch Pro. It's just a brand new Nintendo console. But yeah, that's pretty much what I want to say. So let me know down below what your thoughts is about this whole situation. Do you believe that? That is definitely the half of the year or we're going to see a Switch Pro a lot sooner. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know you guys haven't seen that many face cam videos with me. I've been so caught up. So I was doing a lot of commentary videos. It was a lot faster to, faster for me. But I'm going back to the face cam videos. You'll see like commentary videos only now and then. I know a lot of you guys prefer to see my face while I'm talking to you. Because I know you guys are probably laying down in your bed listening to this commentary. Maybe you got work on a break. But I appreciate you guys watching my video and taking the time to just, yeah, to watch my videos. So take it easy and have, have a good one.